I will now like to introduce our next speaker, Dr. Chifoni Nikurinziza, who is the World Health Organization Africa Team Lead for Reproductive Maternal Health and Aging in the Universal Health Coverage and Life Course Cluster, who will be providing some video remarks. And this message from, from her came from Brazzaville, Congo Brazzaville. On behalf of Dr. Machidiso Muweti, the World Health Organization Regional Director for Africa, I'm deeply honored to be part of this important gathering and to share thoughts on our effort to end all form of gender-based violence. Today, 16 December 2022, we unite to build, to mobilize communities and coalition and to give the red card to all forms of gender-based discrimination, violence, and harmful practices. Women's rights are human rights. Till women can enjoy the same rights as men, women's inequality remains everyone's problem. The African region has suffered and still suffers from violence, gender discrimination, and harmful practices. World Health Organization analysis of prevalence data from 2000-2019 across 161 countries on violence against women found that worldwide nearly one in every three women have been subjected to physical and or sexual violence by an intimate partner or non-partner or both. And inequities are a leading factor for gender-based violence. An estimated 37% 30, of women in the poorest countries have experienced physical and sexual intimate partners violence in their life. Oceania, Southern Asia, and Sub-Saharan Africa have the highest prevalence rate of intimate partner violence among women 15 to 49 age ranging from 33% to 51%. Gender inequality and discrimination against women and girls put their health and their well-being at risk. The health sector response towards all forms of gender-based violence, including rape, is a World Health Organization mandate. In this regard, WHO in Africa has developed policies strategies and training material to tackle the issue and is supporting all countries in the region in the response to all forms of violence, including female genital mutilation. As WHO in Africa, we recognize the tireless work of committed advocates of equality and justice. The important work by Dr. Jibril Diallo through the African Renaissance and Diaspora Network is pivotal. We are committed to continue working with him and all partners to transform the lives of our mothers, our daughters, and all the people grandmother into a, a better life. And thank you very much for your attention.